Okay guys, it's me again. Hi, how are you? What have you done to invest in yourself today? How have you leveled up today? What have you learned? What have you adventured into doing? What have you put fear aside to try? What new languages? What new things? Share with me, share with me guys. So um, in case you all are wondering why I'm wearing the same thing in like nine of my videos, I'm basically on a roll today with my content. Like I'm ready to record. I slapped my new wig on. Um, if you look at my other videos, I was definitely not impressed by this wig, but I've been slowly impressing myself <laughs> with it. Trialing and erroring and testing a few things on it. Like, look at this curl. This curl be popping, y'all. But then the one on the next side, I don't really know what it's doing. But it's fine. Like, I will get better at doing wigs before I buy, like, a really, really expensive one. Because this 30-inch honey, it is, like, wispy at the end. I don't know what it is. So I might have to cut it. But I just like how your body looks for now so on the topic of hair care let's let y'all see the top of my head hunty on the topic of hair care um i will put a picture here i am no stranger to growing my hair but i feel like when i can't control things in my life the first thing i do is sabotage my head so i usually shave my hair all off because i know it could grow back and i kind of get annoyed by people touching my hair or people asking me too many questions around my hair. I kind of want to be noticed for me and not for my hair. So I have type 3C for a hair. Um, the center of my head is like the hardest part of my hair. It is Reiki Yankee Yankee Doodle. And then the front of my hair is like real soft and nice. Like in this wig, these are like all my edges. I have like a lot of edges. I'll put another picture there. Maybe if I feel like it. If I learn how to edit and do all these nice tricksy things. And... Uh, the back of my hair is soft as well, but the front is the softest. Um, I am quite hairy though, like I guess with having such a thick full head of hair, it grows everywhere else as well, unfortunately. So um, I was just like, with this whole black poundy thing, I was like, okay, let me try to do more natural products. I normally do drugstore products and then it was kind of shocking knowing that a lot of the products that I use and I love and I live by they are not black owned so i was just like oh but then hunty like i went mm -mm, on these pages found these websites um found these discounts for these black owned brands and it was still like four times the price of drugstore products and i was like you know what good thing not cheap and cheap thing not good so i'm gonna put my money where my mouth is and it, it was corona so i hadn't spent money for a while so i was just like let me spend money on myself. It's better I spend money on myself than I go out and I end up being like, oh, I haven't spent money in a while. Let me buy something I don't need in Primark. Like, I actually need these products to make my hair grow. I need these products to nourish my hair. Plus, I'm always down to try new things, girl. New things within reason, girl. New things within reason, you know. So, I came across these Shea Butter products. And I was first thinking, I was like, mm, Shea Butter, you just put that on your skin right not really in your hair right so how that gonna work and then i was looking at all the videos and i came across chebe and um with these chadian women and i was like everybody knows i live i love i live for africa like i've been to kenya i've been to it's not even a boast like tanzania zanzibar and i just love africa like i hate how it's portrayed in the media i hate how even my country is portrayed in the media like this big crime zone um yes it's got a lot of crime but it's not from the people who um originate from trinidad or who lived there we had a lot like a large influx of like syrians and lebanese and they're running like the big drug cartels okay i don't want to get into a history lesson but this is just me being comfortable and kind of opening up but anyway everybody knows i love africa so back to chebe and chad and i saw these rituals where these women put this powder in their hair and it grows their hair and their hair grows to their knees and i was just like yeah okay i'm ready to grow back my hair again so i came across two products in particular and i also wanted to try shea butter so they combined shea butter with like castor oil which is known to grow things the eyebrows and so the eyelashes i know people like put castor oil on their fingertips and just on their eyelashes and then they sleep or on their eyebrows and then they sleep same with vaseline i've heard and um they do the castor oils the grapeseed oils which is my hair loves grapeseed oil my hair loves argan oil so i came across two products um one being the retro rich now i've had to put these products in the fridge so they are sweating a bit uh y'all don't come for my nails <laughs> do not come for my nails 
these this is just normal nail polish and i'm gonna do my hair to lay this wig properly and i don't like to do my nails because it chips with the product being underneath it and then this was the other one um ivy wild came across this one now this is i'm experiencing a bit of separation with this but um, since I put it in the fridge, it's fine. This container does clearly say, though, um, use within three months after use, after opening. This one uh, has the little pot with the 12 months on it. So it says, um, basically, it's valid for a year. I don't know how that's possible because they both have the same ingredients in them. There is a slight difference. Wait, let me, let me think. So Retro Rich, we have shea butter mango seed butter, grape seed oil, sunflower seed oil, apricot oil, avocado butter, castor oil, cherry powder, argan oil, vitamin E oil. That's retro rich. Then we have the Ivy Wild, which is shea butter, castor oil, grape seed oil, avocado oil, cherry powder, or oh, phenoxyethanol, phenoxyethanol, and vitamin E. Okay, so retro rich has a bit more. Retro rich claims that this tub is 212 mils, but I am I'm not convinced, guys. Cause this tub, uh, Ivy Wild says it is I think 150, 150. There's no way this they're the same height as well, but they're not the same width. There's no way this is 212. I think what they do is they measure the glass on a scale, so they they include the weight of the glass and the metal tin. There's no way, like there's no. I refuse. I refuse to believe. Um. I go into detail about these products and how I use them and stuff. But uh, Retro Rich is about 16 pounds for the 212. And Ivy Wild is, I think it was 14 pounds for the 150. Um, which one I use more? I kind of use the Ivy Wild more because of the three months shelf life, I think. I just remembered why. Also, the Retro Rich one has a kind of a like yogurty smell. Which I'm not too fond of. I'm not a fan of like uh, marshmallowy, like heavy, milky textures, like in your hair, especially. I'm kind of like the more citrusy, light fragrant type of girl. Just compare any packaging with these two. Like Retro Rich, I was so excited because these guys have like 82,000 followers and so many reviews and an international following and like loyal fan base well customer base or whatever so this is the packaging this comes with a like a simple retro rich stick on the top there i guess my number and just some pieces of brown paper so i was like digging in the brown paper i was like waiting for the thank you for buying this product like we hope you enjoy best way to use it is um we recommend that it nothing absolutely nothing absolutely nothing shit and then i had the ivy wild so the ivy wild came in a little bubble wrap a bubble envelope bubble poly mailer as they call them and they had some nice like leaflets oh i don't have any leaflets to show you guys but they had two really nice like this size leaflets talking about their other products like what they recommend how you should use it they had a lovely little like greeting card saying thank you for your purchase and it was saying what type of hair um what hair type are you and they were explaining like from 2a to like four whatever and i was just like this is cute like this is cute let me take this little quiz so definitely more impressed with the packaging of the ivy wild than i am with the retro rich as well but i think maybe with retro rich they're now a brand this like Obviously, Nike Tick adds like a few couple teners or twenties on top of the price. You get what I mean? So I think because Retro Rich maybe have been around for longer, um, they are allowed to charge more for their product. Um, how am I finding it? They both like, like this, they've both been in the fridge. So that's like this little Retro Rich here. They both pretty much like dissolve and stuff the same. I know I shouldn't be putting my good, good product in this piece of weave here, but I am just just for the sake of the the tube, you know, just to show y'all. Um, with the Ivy Wild though, they are a bit thicker, so like I have to like dig it. But even with that dig, like when you put that on your finger and you rub it in. 
I feel like the Ivy Wild has more moisture to it. I don't know why, but it just kind of does. And it has more chibi flakes as well. So, and I guess because it has less of the other oils and things in it. So, it does leave your hair shiny. And so on and so forth. So, that's my comparison between the Ivy Wild and the Retro Rich. I think they're both worth it, but for your bargain hunter, saving Sally like me who like to save her Mario coin, I would definitely recommend the Ivy Wild Chebe lengthen and strengthen. And plus, I just like to kind of give the underdogs a, a chance as well. Like, I feel like if, you know, we should support all of our sisters and brothers. So, well, I bought both, but um, I would kind of support whoever is like coming up as well and maybe more so they could like, we could all kind of reach to one level and keep set any bar higher and higher and we keep moving up higher and higher so that's what i recommend between ivy wild and retro rich especially with the packaging i felt like more appreciated with the packaging of the ivy wild i don't like black but with the little pamphlets and stuff inside it was it was nice um they do recommend to use it i guess three uh three times a week how i use this as well because it's too heavy for my hair my hair needs to be wet so I usually take a spray bottle because my hair takes long to wet, but it dries quite quickly. Um, so I take my spray bottle and I put some oil into the spray bottle, spray my hair, and then I'll put this on and then I'll caner it. I mean, I don't know if I should show you guys. <laughs> Let's do this thing. But yeah, so that's my like caners on the bottom. How I put on my wigs, guys, I have to put on a silk. A layer of silk under my wig first and then the stocking cap over because these things like pick and pull your hair um i had also learned some other things the other day like with sulfates and shampoos you don't use sulfates because they're like used in cleaning products so they definitely dry out your hair terrible because my hair is already dry so thank god i found out that you don't use parabens because they cause cancer um you don't use mineral oils because they prevent moisture getting into your hair which is a shocker because all of the products that i love the drugstore products namely like ORS, um i love the olive oil grease because it has so much slip and slide to it that has mineral oil in it so i was like shocked i was really really shocked so we were spending like two pound fifty for a nice huge tub of moisturizing lotion now tanti done upgrade and she's on 14 15 pounds <laughs> for some Thing, but i'm not using these sparingly because when you buy something it's to be used on you so you should go full full fledged with it um but yeah i would recommend it for sure i don't know what else i was gonna mention yeah not to use silicones as well because silicones i think do the same thing they provide slip to your hair but they're also preventing moisture and stuff from getting in um another tip for hair growth i would probably do a separate video on this but Definitely put heat on your hair and trim your ends regularly. If your hair is damaged and the ends are splitting, all it's going to do is the split ends is going to travel up and up and up and up and up your strands until they break. Your hair will never grow. So you have to trim your ends regularly. I do mine like every two months. I've just got my sister into trimming her ends and she sees the results as well. But you got to trim them ends, hunty. And I would say don't wash your hair every single day. Like wash your hair maybe once every two weeks if you can and steam darling the word is steam the category is growth hunting so you have to steam your hair i bought a nice steamer from amazon like years ago and it's still lasting me like you you get to attach the blow dryer to the to your ears and it's like a hood and then it just steams your hair you have your cap on and you let that sit for 15 minutes to half an hour one bad habit that i had that I guess it should have been worse to me than it was, but it wasn't that bad, was leaving conditioner in my hair. So sometimes with my wash and goes, because I was not sure how the weather was going to affect my hair, whether it was going to frizz it out or like fluff it out nicely, just to be cautious and to be on the safe side. I used to shampoo my hair and then after I shampoo, put some oil in it, put the conditioner in it and just leave. Like, you know, it's wash and go. No, mine was just go. So I would leave with the conditioner in my hair and actually my hair would look amazing. Anyway, more hair tips to come. Talk soon. Much love and peace.